Laid back Mickey here, and today we are going to go over the three pros and cons of the top four trike brands. We are in the Tear Trike Maverick, but we're going to talk about Tear Trike in general, the, the three pros and the three cons. So pro number one is Tear Trike is an affordable brand. They are a nice price point. They have prices from about 1500 to about five grand, so they're not super expensive. They're affordable and they're quality, and they have a great warranty, a lifetime warranty. Those are pros. Also, they usually sit a little higher. Pro, easy to get in and out of. So you can you know, stand up and get down really easy on a tear trike. And the other pro is that they have mountain bike style handlebars. So if you like a mountain bike, or if you already ride a mountain bike, you're gonna like these handlebars. They're nice and they're comfortable. So those are the three pros, but Every brand has a con. And maybe it's a con to you, or maybe it's a con to me, or maybe not, but these are the things that I hear that people may not like about it. Con number one is, you know what? If you want a folding trike, these trikes don't fold. So you're gonna have to have a vehicle, a SUV, or some sort of car that will fit these easily. But if you want it into a, like a small hatchback or something, you're gonna want a folding trike. And then number two is you can't get full suspension on these. None of them have suspension. So you can't fold it. And also for suspension, you can't get suspension. And also most tear trikes sit a little higher. So if you want you know, more stability, uh, more aerodynamics and a faster trike, well, these are gonna sit up a little bit more. Unless you go into like their ATC model or their Spider model, which actually sets pretty low. But most of their models are gonna sit up a little higher, which as we said, it could be a, a plus or it could be a minus. So it could be a pro or a con, depending on where you're coming from. Those are the three pros and three cons on Tear Trike. Let's go over to Green Speed. Pro number one. Green Speed is, I believe, one of the first folding trikes out there. So it folds nice and small. In fact, on the Magnum, not only does uh, this model fold, the, so the seat comes off and the rear wheel folds over, but the front wheels can come off. So it can fit into the smallest of vehicles. So that is pro number one. Pro number two is green speed of all the manufacturers and all the models out there, they probably have the trike that fit the widest and the tallest person. So I'm on the Magnum XL right now. The Magnum XL has one of the widest seats in the industry, so it's nice and wide. And also, it will adjust for the longest leg. So like on this one here, like this is even long for me, this will fit somebody up to 6'9". So this trike will probably fit somebody anywhere from about maybe 5'9 all the way up to 6'9". So a whole foot difference that you could adjust somebody on here. Whether you weigh a little bit more, whether you're a little wider, or whether you are taller, there's no other trike like it out there. So that's number two. I mean, it could be number two, three, and four. So many positive pros on that one there. So you got your folding, your size, and your weight handling. So the cons on the Green Speed brand is one is they're not the cheapest, but they're also not the most expensive. They're right in the middle. They've always been that way for the last 25 plus years. They just make quality. You have a quality brand, but is there, you're not gonna find a $1,500 green speed. They just don't make it because they're folding. They're aluminum frames, so they're, they're you know high quality materials. And another con on the green speed, it's seat. It's seat is comfortable, but it doesn't have an option for a seat pad that is easy. You can get different like aftermarket seat pads, but they don't have a factory seat pad like Tear Trike does, or they don't come with the squishy seat pad that Cat Trike or even like the Ergo Lux um, Ice Trikes have. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna go, man, I wish I had more seat padding. And also they have a curvature to the back. Now it fits my back nicely, but it may not fit your back with that curvature. So that's gonna be another con is that this design of the seat either hits you where you want it or it doesn't. The seat was actually designed originally by a, a chiropractor. And so it's a nicely designed seat, but the con is, is it's gonna, it's gonna support your back or it's actually gonna put pressure on a point that you don't want. So you gotta try it out. You gotta try out the green speeds to find out 
Is it a pro or is it a con? So next, let's go to the Cat Trike DeMont and the Cat Trike brand. Okay, so the three pros to the Cat Trike. If you wanna see more recumbent trike videos, subscribe so you don't miss out. Pro number one, the only trike made in America. There's no other brand that can say, I build my frames in America, but you're supporting American made trikes. You're uh, supporting American, American jobs. So they're the only ones. I mean, it's, it's the biggest pro that I can find besides pro number two, high quality. All their parts are quality. They're using the best motors. They're using Bosch from Germany. It's a beautiful motor. They're also using SRAM componentry. And this is a pro right here, which is really cool. All their models, their top five models, all use the same drivetrain. So if it's an ECAT, they're all using the same Bosch. If it's a, a triple with a 10 speed in back, so a full gear range of gears, they're all using the same. So they just give quality components on all their models. They don't skimp, they don't change it. You don't get a cheaper brand derailleur on one versus another. It's just quality the whole way through. So that's pro number two. Made in America, also great quality components all the way through their models. And third, as we talked about with Greenspeed, they have many folding trikes. So their trikes are easy to transport. And also they have a wide range of trikes. They have trikes from the 700, which is like their super fast trike. They have the Expedition, which is their, their touring trike. They have their folding trikes, which is the DeMont 559 and Trail. They have their higher sitting trike, which is the Villager. So they have a wide range of trikes and they just keep on making them better. Those are the pros. But what are the cons? Well, if you're looking for the least expensive trike, it's not cat trike, you know, it's American made. Also, they had to raise their prices, you know, over this last few years because everybody else has, because of the costs have gone up. So doing business in America, there's a cost to it, right? You're supporting American jobs, so you gotta pay a little bit more for that. Not much more. I have some people go, you know, why is it a little, little bit more than that one? I'm all, because this one's made in Taiwan and this one's made in America. And the next con is, and I don't even know if this is a con, but it has road bike style steering versus mountain bike style steering. So some people like mountain bike and some people like road bike. And so is that a con? Maybe. Is there a third con? Well, the problem is, is I can't think of any. Maybe you can think of some, but I can't because they just make awesome trikes. Let's go on over to our next manufacturer, which is ice. Okay, now we are on to ice trikes. So what are the three pros to ice trikes? Pro number one, styling. They probably have the most styled trike out there, probably the best paint job design out there. They just look great. And also, probably the number one seat out there that I can think of, they have the Ergo Lux seat. And now, it's an option on some of their trikes, like the Adventures, it's an option whether you get it, and you should get it 100% of the time because it's so nice. And on this Sprint here, it comes with the Ergo Lux seat, which is basically like a finely designed seat that fits your body perfectly. It's nice and squishy. It conforms to your body perfectly. So they, they have the, the probably the nicest seat and also the nicest design looking paint job to it. They're using multiple colors in it. So if you want European design, then you go over to ICE and you're getting a beautifully made trike. They put extra time and extra money into their welding. They put extra money into their paint jobs. Do you pay for it? Yeah, that's, well, let's talk about a con. You're gonna pay more for an ICE. Why are you paying more? Well, one, you're paying more for design. You're ta they're taking more time on making everything more refined. And then also, where is it coming from? It's coming from all the way over from England over to here. So you're gonna pay a little bit more for shipping. The cost is higher. That's, that's what it is. So that's a con, a pro design, a con cost. A pro is also, they are probably one of the most innovative companies out there. They use the new MVLO drive system, automatic shifting. Does any other manufacturer have automatic shifting out there? None come stock, but you can get automatic shifting on ice trikes. 
And the cool thing is the automatic shifting, all you have to do is pedal. You pedal, you get your exercise, but you don't have to think about shifting. And so if you're going like, Oh, I don't know how these gears work. I, you know, I haven't been on a bike in decades. Well, auto shifting makes it so all you have to do is get on and pedal and get exercise and enjoy the ride. It's amazing. So they're using high technology. That's a pro. Another pro like Cat Trike and like Green Speed is that they fold up. The seat will come off and they will fold up and they will get compact. And so it makes it easy to transport, easy to store. So that's a big benefit. So those are the pros. Cons, we just talked about one of them. It's more expensive. The other con besides price is they don't have a ton of different models. There's two main models and main models that we sell, which is the Sprint. It's the one I'm riding currently, and it is their, their faster, sportier trike. And then you got the Adventure. The Adventure is their the comfort touring cruising trike. It, it's like, if you just want a super nice touring trike, the Adventure is awesome. So that's, that's a con is that on some of their models, they are specific to a certain type of riding. I can only think of a lot of pros on these ones here. If you like these videos and you wanna learn more about recumbent trikes, go ahead and download our free trike buying guide. It's in the description below.